Okay, so guys, you set the print brief last week. You started planning your own print products as to what you're going to create for a digital print product. Some of you want to do CD covers, we've got some posters, and some of you want to do DVD covers. Now we looked at great length last week as to what you need to know before you can go and design such a thing. One of those was the dimensions. So I'm going to focus on the DVD cover if you're doing CD covers, posters, whatever. Find the dimensions, use this tutorial, bring it into the same thing. But in particular, we're going to look today at the DVD wrap. So the first thing I want is a DVD wrap template. And I'm going to search in the images on Google for that. And I'm going to find one that somebody's made and measured out for me. That's the most important bit, is the fact that I want the measurements. So I've got an image loading up. Somebody has very kindly gone through with a ruler or other materials and they've measured that DVD cover it's loading quite slow because I've got some videos uploading right now so there you can see it's 273 millimeters wide and it's 183 millimeters high so I need to write that down really I can either get a scrap of paper or I can use a digital bit of paper like notepad so we're gonna go for 273 millimeters wide we're going for 183 millimeters high the most important bit with the DVD cover is where is the spine on the cover. So we can see right here that it's 129.5mm to the left hand side of the spine and 1295 from the right hand side of the spine. The spine lasts for 14mm. So I think it's worth just putting that in so that we've got a point of reference when we come back to making it. So let's just get them figures into Notepad to make that a little bit bigger so we can see it without really straining our eyes too much. And there we go, we've got our measurements. So if we go back towards Photoshop, and go to File New, we can actually input the settings right here as to how big we want it to be. So we want 273 millimeters, make sure it's in millimeters, not pixels. And on the height, we want 183, 183. Again, checking we're in millimeters. Now the resolution's probably gonna say 72, you wanna change that to 300 just a much better print quality and we're working in pixels per inch if you look to the right here it's going to tell us how big this file is now if you haven't got much room left on your pen drive you might need a bigger pen drive at this point in time it's going to be about 20 megabytes for a dvd cover and that's you know before we start adding multiple layers so i've checked all my settings against my notepad file 273 wide 183 height resolution 300 and i'm going to give it a name let's call it DVD wrap. If my keys work in the right order. There we go. Click OK. And it opens up a canvas. So your canvas will probably look more like that when it loads up. Okay. All it's missing is the rulers. So if you go into view and look for ruler, and then it puts up all these measurements around the side. Now if you right click in the ruler, you can choose what you want those measurements in. You can have them pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters and so on because all our measurements are in millimeters we really need to keep it in millimeters so even though that's the whole shape of the dvd wrap it's not really showing us where the spine is we know from our notes that we need a spine at 129.5 millimeters and luckily photoshop lets us have guides we can put guides on the page we can click on the ruler and drag out and try and guess somewhere near where 129.5 is we can drag them from the top if you want making sure you click in the ruler first so else you get some errors you can put them all over the place and when you get really carried away you get really into using the guides you'll find that you can't really see much of the workspace they're quite useful because you can lock masks to them and marquees and various other different tools if you want to put a guide in a particular place just go to view new guide and type in exactly where you want it to be so 129.5 millimeters if you want it in centimeters you put cm pixels px but we're measuring in millimeters so that's put one guide for us the next guide is 40 millimeters after that so we've got to add 14 to 129.5 so i'm not particularly good at maths so we'll use a calculator 129.5 plus 14 gives us 143.5 so i'm going to go back to having a new guide view new guide 143.5 millimeters hit enter so what we've got now is a section where it's shown us the middle the spine it's given us exactly the spine knowing the way that a wrap works we can know that this area here is going to be the front cover and the area over here is the back which means all this section here 
will fit nicely into the middle of that DVD case. Now, if you're doing a cover for a, a wrap for a PlayStation game, the case is going to be different if you're doing PS3. If you're doing a CD cover, you're going to have two different shapes. You're going to have one for the front cover of the CD, and then you've got the back cover of the CD that sits inside the tray, and it's got the two folded edges, so you're going to need the guides for the two edges. If you're working on a poster, you're probably not going to want the guides that much, but you might want to start using them to measure out, for example, how big your heading is going to be. So, say for example, I want some text to be that big. Let's put some guides there. It means that I can work within those dimensions. I want a picture that's a little bit bigger. I just get the move tool and I can move those guides down and I can have whole new dimensions. So that's it for the guides really. That's it for setting up your workspace and having it spot on to begin working the way you want to work. So from there, use the knowledge you've got from doing all your other tutorials. Have a look at some of the other videos that are going to be appearing on here over the next couple of days, couple of weeks, and see what you come up with really. Have a play. Again, any feedback, any comments, fire it all up on here or come and speak to me. Let's see how we're getting on with it. All right.